Hey guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Follow a Sketch Friday. So this is the sketch that I am using. It is from The Scrap Room. It's three photos, some embellishment, and a couple paper layers. I do have three photos from my 2014 Disney trip where I'm trying to get that album done quick and uh, get caught up with it just to show that you can do a project that is years and years overdue super quick. So... Um, trying to get more more than one photo on a page because I don't want it to be an epic Disney album either. So I have this paper from the Paige Evans Whimsical Collection. Uh, it's some clouds and raindrops. Uh, this is me, my Helly Hansen rain jacket that I bought, and the absolute pouring that it was doing during this trip. Um, pouring. Like, it was raining from the ground up. <laughs> it was that that much. Um, I've got a wooden word that the L kind of popped off, so we're just going to glue that back together. I've got a Brutus Monroe stamp set, uh, an older Brutus Monroe stamp set, and also a couple scraps of paper. So let's see what I can do. All right, guys, I'm going to apologize in advance because the process portion of this video stays blurry the entire time. Now, I like the way that this layout turned out, and it is another layout that has been finished for my 2014 It's Never Too Late to Scrapbook It album, and I still want to share it with you guys. Now, I am doing what I have done in the past, and that is taking bright, fun papers and uh, matting them on black. Now, I, I get that black cardstock as a feature on your layout is not, is not for everyone. Like some people just don't like it um, and some people might love it. So hopefully since this is a little blurry, all of you that hate black cardstock <laughs> aren't gonna be too offended. Um, so I am following the sketch kind of Kind of, right? Like, kind of. My banner does not have a fishtail on it. It's just a rectangle. Um, my three photos are going to be kind of clustered over here. And I will have decorations. Um, so these photos are telling the story. And I actually, I actually journal on this page, you guys. Um, these photos are telling the story of how... Um, I was at Walt Disney World, I was in Epcot, and it was pouring. It was raining so hard and so long, and it was just ridiculous. Rain was coming up from the ground, it was coming from the sky, it was coming sideways. You name it, and it was raining. Now, the good thing is, is that I was wearing Disney Crocs this day, so I didn't have to worry about um, wet tennis shoes or wet socks. I didn't have any of that kind of thing going on. But it was so much rain, you guys. So I was texting with Christopher. I ducked into Norway and was just sitting there and I was shopping and they had this Helly Hansen purple uh, rain jacket. Purple rain jacket. Uh, I loved that rain jacket. Um, I had to uh, pass it on. Uh, I did lose a bunch of weight and it was huge and I was swimming in it. Um, but... Uh, for the years that I had it while it was uh, while it was fitting, <laughs> it was great. Um, and plus it just it just kept the rain off of me. It had a hood. It was just great. Like you ever like you just find a piece of clothing and you just like it. So um, I did that. Now, I was debating I was just gonna buy a poncho. But those super thin little ponchos, no, it wasn't working. With the way the rain was going, like, the people that were wearing ponchos were not having luck. At all. Um, so, I'm journaling about that right here. My title says, A Grateful for Helly. Um, and then I pull out my stamp set because I'm going to make a couple of my decorations for the page. So like I said, this is an older stamp set. I'm pretty sure it's retired now. Um, but if you're doing a rainy page and you want to cut out an umbrella and such things, it 
you can totally do this with any kind of stamp set like that. So I have the open umbrella, the closed umbrella, and also the raincoat. And the raincoat I thought was super appropriate since that is what I bought. So I am going to use the Misty Stamping Tool. And what that's going to do is allow me to uh, continuously stamp in the same exact place. Uh, just in case you know you don't, your stamping is not crisp uh, during your first time. So I'm going to grab a couple of Chroma Mists. And I have Leaf Green, Lilac, Purple, and Turquoise, I think. And I'm just going to go ahead and paint in my stamped images. Now, when I paint in stamped images, I'm not looking at light and shadows and things like that. If, if I think I can add something a little bit there that might make it a little extra pretty, I do it. Um, but I am not about color, hue, and value and all that kind of stuff when I'm making this. Um, I do go ahead and do a darker bit uh, in the inside of the rain jacket so that there is a little bit of a differen differentiation between the inside and the outside. And then when I do the umbrellas, as you can see or not see because the video is blurry, uh, this large umbrella has a little bit of shading already in it. Um, so the only thing I did was take the other color and shade it and the turquoise and the leaf green together make a gorgeous color. Like now I want to buy a bottle of turquoise and a bottle of leaf green just to mix the color. Like that's how much I love this color that came out with that. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and fussy cut these guys out. Um, this stamp set did not come with a die uh, coordinating die set. It was just a standalone stamp set. Um, I really find that dies are handy for stamp sets if there's a lot of intricate cutting. If it's not a lot of intricate cutting, I feel like I can just cut it out with my scissors, fussy cut it, and I will be good to go. So now I get the bigger uh, umbrella cut out. So now I have my three little decorative pieces and I decide to pull out my flowers. And it's just a matter of figuring out where I want the flowers to go around my photo clusters and where I want my uh, kind of chroma mist painted in pieces to go as well. So at this point, I'm really not looking at the sketch anymore. Um, to be honest, I haven't looked at the sketch in a while while I'm doing this layout. Um, because, you know, I've got, I've got the main idea of the sketch down and now I am kind of just doing my own thing. I really do think that that is my favorite way to use a sketch is to use it as a starting off point and kind of um, a little bit like the sketch. Like look at the sketch, get an idea and go for it. Sometimes my layout looks very similar to the sketch like this time and sometimes when I do that my layout doesn't look anything like the sketch. But I think I have been using sketches long enough that I that that's that's pretty much my favorite way to do it. Um, your favorite way to use a sketch might be completely different, and that's cool. You might want to copy a sketch and use it as a reference and and make sure everything looks the exact same as the sketch. You might like one thing in the sketch and only do that, or you might be a hater of sketches and be like, Pff, and just do your own thing anyway. So whatever you do, it's good. So as you can see, I have the flowers and the pieces uh, uh, layered up. So now I've got um, some decorative bits. And then I go in and I'm going to add these purple enamel dots uh, from the Paper Studio. And I end up using uh, all of them in a section. And I decided to go for the purple, uh, even though there's not this exact shade of purple in the papers per se. Uh, but it does give a nod to that purple Helly Hansen jacket. And then, of course, I'm going to add a little bit of gold splatter because gold splatter makes everything better. Look at the rain in that photo, you guys. Like, that is coming down from the sky. It was ridiculous. Anyway, thanks for watching. So sorry everything was blurry. And I will see you guys again real soon for another video.